Uh, so every July we celebrate Harry Potter's birthday, which is also J.K. Rowling's birthday on July 31st. Uh, but this year was an extra special celebration because of Jack Thorne and J.K. Rowling's long anticipated sequel to the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Harry Potter is still so important to so many people and we wanted to reflect that total immersion into Harry's world with our event. It has been 19 years since the first Harry Potter book came out and so we have a whole new generation of fans now that never got to experience the crazy minute releases and conventions and fandom of the Harry Potter world at its height of popularity. It's important to keep that magic alive, to offer the new generation an opportunity to experience the power of books like Harry Potter have and they have the power to change lives. We wanted kids to experience what it might be like being a student at Hogwarts. It's all about engaging their imaginations and bringing the magic to life. They would enter through Platform 9's recorders, get sorted into a house, immerse themselves into the Hogwarts life through our green screen photo booth, create a wand, learn some spells, and even how to duel. In our creativity comments, older fans had the opportunity to blend artistry with technology and make dragon eggs and something even a bit more useful. Yeah, maybe it got fancy. Students used office supplies, crafts, and LED lights to create light up Lumos wands. Nice. So it works, you know, there's paint on it. Beautiful. Libraries have a unique opportunity to connect members of their community and facilitate events like this that can forge friendships, encourage passions, and inspire you. Show us your wand that you made here today. Woo! Beautiful. Thank you very much. As a huge Harry Potter fan myself, I know how much these events can mean to people because it shows that libraries understand the most important word in the Harry Potter series, always.